Hi, welcome back to Woodshed Creations. I'm Chuck, and today we're going to remake this desk. I made this desk a couple years ago, and it has two workstations at it, which works great, but now since we built the cabinet for our office, it doesn't really match. And there's also some improvements I wanna to make to it. The first step in making this desk, since we're using 3 quarter inch birch plywood for the base cabinets, is to cut it down with a circular saw to a manageable size. Then I will cut it down to final dimension at the table saw. Now that we have all the pieces cut to the final dimension, we are going to drill pocket holes in them to attach them with pocket screws and glue. And if you haven't seen my review on the Craig Foreman pocket hole machine, I will link it right up here. You can check that out also. Now that we have all the pocket holes drilled into the top, bottom, and back supports for the cabinets, it is time to connect them together using pocket screws and glue. Now the front of the cabinet is going to be open because it's going to have a door on it. The back of the cabinet will have these supports so that it stays square or rectangle. Now before we screw those in we want to make sure that it's square to start with so we're going to use our speed square and we will check the corner. It appears to be pretty square. I'm just going to use this board as a spacer so I know that I'm the same distance from the top and bottom on both sides. Now we have all three of the cabinets put together. The next step is to make the doors and I'm going to do that by using the router and a tongue and groove bit. Now I'm putting the doors together and I have it dry fitted and you'll notice that the top rail sticks down a little bit and that's because this piece is just floating inside and it's a little bit shorter so what we're going to do is when we glue it together we are going to take some of these space balls just little foam balls and we're going to sit them inside here in the groove and that is going to take up the space so that it will fit even with the centerpiece. So I'll clamp these together to uh, hold them while the glue dries, but you'll notice that it evens it out at the top. So now it's all clamped up and we'll just wait for that to dry. Finished sanding the doors and I realized I made a mistake. I held them up to the cabinets and they are all exactly one inch too wide. So what I'm gonna have to do is, if I don't wanna make new doors, which I don't, so I'm gonna have to trim a half an inch off of each side and hope that it doesn't look terrible. Something that I didn't do on the desk last time is I'm going to cover up the exposed plies on the front of the cabinet with some iron-on edge banding. We just cut this to size. All you have to do is measure it out, cut it to size, and then just iron it on with an iron. There's a heat-activated glue on the bottom that makes it adhere when you iron it onto the board. Now 
Now obviously you're gonna have different variations from different manufacturers, but typically the edge banding comes a little bit wider than the plywood, but you can just take a piece of sandpaper and sand it flush. They also make tools that you can run along the sides and it cuts the edge banding off or you can use an X-Acto knife. A couple last things before I go ahead and paint is uh, when I cut the doors, I made it the size of the opening plus the edges of the plywood. So if the cabinet was sitting directly on the ground, the door could scrape along the ground. So I put some one by pieces on the bottom to lift it up a little bit. So the door is offset by three quarters of an inch from the ground. And when I had to trim the doors because of the width, I took those half inch pieces that I cut off and I lined these, uh, it's just an old piece from one of the old cabinets and it's going to be a shelf. So I uh, covered up that exposed ply on there with those pieces of half inch pine that I cut off from the doors. So it worked out. Instead of buying new two by tens for the top, I'm just gonna reuse the old ones, sand down the gray stain and finish and we'll restain them. After a ton of sanding, we are finally down to the original wood and we are ready to apply the stain and we are gonna use this dark walnut Danish oil. If you like this content and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe and go ahead and give me a thumbs up as well. When I built my last desk, I had the shelves pocket screwed into the cabinets and now I want to make them adjustable. I'm going to do that by using this Craig shelf pin jig. It's really simple to use and it makes it to where all the pins are aligned evenly. I'm going to use every other one because I don't need that many options for shelves. After the holes are drilled, you just put these little shelf pins in and just realize that these come in multiple sizes, so just make sure you get the right size. Now it's time to install the hinges. I'm gonna use this Craig hinge jig and I'm gonna clamp it down with my Automax clamp here. If you're interested in any of this hardware or any of the tools I used in this video, I will link them down in the description. This jig makes it super easy to align your hinges, but I have found that it's better to use a shop vac to suck up all the wood that comes out when you're drilling the holes. For attaching the door hardware, I am using my Craig hardware jig and I have it clamped to a backer board so it leaks a clean hole on the other side when I drill through. The last step was to attach the top to the cabinets. I did that with some L brackets and then this project was done. Now these are three separate boards. They're not connected to one another because they're so heavy, but I really like how this turned out. I like the adjustable shelves and the flexibility we have with the storage and how it matches the cabinet I did a few weeks ago. If you like this project, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and check out another project over here. And thanks for watching. Desk, two person desk, two station, two workstation desk. Open! Die! Die! Double desk, double letter, <laughs> double D. Die!